This video is brought to you by Patreon and all of these fine people. Hello friends! So, I'm currently out here at a summit place. Just left Eli, Nevada, heading to Garrison, Utah. Actually, I think Garrison's still in Nevada. I'll be on the Utah border. So yeah, I woke up this morning. It's like 25 degrees, I think, something like that. So I'm gonna start walking to warm up. It's currently like 7 a.m. Sun should be coming up in a few hours. Once that happens, I'll take a break. Hopefully upload a video. Uh, the Eureka short where I walked from Austin to Eureka. It's done. I just got to do like a couple minor editing things. So hopefully I still have service for that. I should probably cross this one. So I'm currently on Highway 50. I won't be on it for very long. There's supposed to be a turnoff right up here a little ways. And uh, I don't know if it's a dirt road or gravel road or just a blacktop back road, but it'll take me through these mountains right here. Goodbye, Highway 50. Hello, some back road. So I didn't even know this. Uh, Apparently we're going to a uh, state park. So that's neat. So I've been walking for about an hour. Sun finally came out. So I'm charging up my battery bank for a little bit and I'm gonna edit together two videos. And I'm probably just gonna relax for a little bit. It's going to be a long, long walk. Anyway, that's a short little update. So I'm really glad I sat down there for a few minutes. Because it turns out I missed a turn up here that I was supposed to take. Now i got to backtrack a half a mile and get on the road to... What is the next town? Garrison. Yeah, we're not going to the state park like I thought we were. You can really tell I plan ahead for this. This road I need to be on. So it's been a few hours. So I just walked up this mountain right here and uh, I'm almost to the top. Be there in about five minutes. Sun's starting to set. But uh, I got my headlamp, so probably gonna walk through the night. Yeah. It was a hard climb. It was a very hard climb. But now almost the rest of it's downhill. There is still another portion that's uphill, but that'll be for tomorrow. But I am hoping to get down the mountain today. Then that'll leave like a 20 mile walk tomorrow. Anyway, I'm gonna get walking. So I never thought I'd say this, but I kind of missed the desert. I am so glad I have wool socks because my, my socks are completely soaking wet from all of the snow. But yeah, I'm almost up at the top of the mountain. Hopefully, I don't know what I'm even gonna say. There's gonna be snow up there. I was gonna say, hopefully there won't be snow up there, but it's a higher elevation, so it's probably gonna be snow. Anyway, see you when I get there. This could be bad. I might have to turn around. And I'm literally almost up to the top of the mountain. 
That'll make me sad. Whew. So, first off, sorry about the light over here. I got my uh, flashlight just in a tree so I can have some light here. So, currently about a quarter mile away from the summit. I say summit. I think it's the tallest point, but then a couple miles later, I go down and I go back up again. I'll put on a uh, graphic of the elevation gain and descend, and you'll see that, like, even though I'm up at the top and going down, I'm going to be going back up. And I am tired. Oh, my goodness. I was not expecting three inches of snow on the trail. Um, yeah. yeah. It's been like 40, 50 degrees during the daytime the past few days. So I figured all the snow would be melted, but apparently we're up here. A little too high for that. <sighs> anyway, I, uh, I got my sleep system out. This is the, uh, best place I could find to sleep. You know, at least I'm, I'm off the snow. I'm off the snow. There are a lot of animal tracks around here though. Kind of bugs me out. I mean, I've seen deer and coyote tracks everywhere, so. I'm not too worried about them. And I don't think there's bears up here this time of year. I hope not. Uh, yeah, there's a sign down there that said the road was closed up ahead. I'm hoping I don't get up here tomorrow and it's closed. Uh, yeah, I've seen a few of those signs, but they're normally for like motorized vehicles. Like you can still walk through there. It's not like gated up or anything. So, yeah, tomorrow's gonna be fun. I'm going to be leaving early tomorrow. I have to. Uh, you know, I've been walking in three inches of snow for the past hour, and I mean, these are dollar store shoes. So better than my other shoes. Flashback to those, and it would have been way worse. But, uh, my socks are completely soaking, soaking wet. My socks are completely soaking wet. Which isn't horrible. I have wool socks, so if those of you don't know, wool will keep you warm even when they're wet. But I do also have two extra pairs. Two, two, there we go. Let me see two fingers. Shadows. But even with those extra pairs of socks, um, you know, every day for the past week, I've woken up with my feet freezing cold. Yeah, you know, I wanted to leave early today, but I camped out by the lake, and so I wanted some pictures of the lake. But tomorrow, yeah, if I wake up at 3 a.m., I'm heading out. 36 miles, 35 miles to the next town right now. Oh, I think so. I mean, it's doable in a day, but Two days. Two days. Unless I wake up like 2 a.m. and just. Which might happen. I woke up around 2 a.m. last night. But, you know, that could happen. We'll find out. Anyway, I'm gonna pass out. Maybe I'll see a coyote when I wake up. Please not ready. See you tomorrow. I have finally made it to the summit. And it is beautiful. <coughs> yeah, so. Uh, I woke up. I actually slept really well last night. I woke up around 6.30 which is so much later than I normally wake up at. And my feet weren't that cold. I, I guess because I was sleeping on some mulch or 
you know, whatever, kind of insulated me and uh, kept me warm. Yeah, my feet were not cold. So I decided to kind of relax a little bit. You know, I was nice and warm, just relax. And then seven o'clock I got up and I started hiking and yeah, to the summit. And yeah, to the summit. And whew, it is beautiful. So I've still got 39 miles left. I actually thought I was I had made more progress than that, but apparently not. So that sucks. But the next leg of the race is downhill. And then there does come a portion where it goes back uphill. But yeah. Uh, I'm going to sign off for right now. And I will see you guys in a little bit. This is gonna kill my legs. At least it's not covered in snow. So I said, thank goodness it wasn't snow. It's just mud, which is almost as bad. Almost at the top. Back to snow. But next 16 miles are gonna be all downhill. So I'm gonna try and make up some time get down to the highway as quick as possible because this snow is killing me so sorry I haven't been vlogging too much I've just been trying to get down off this mountain and I think I'm like six miles away sun's starting to go down though so it's gonna be fun actually got some windmills coming up here and this path I'm on, it doesn't even look like a road or a trail or anything. Anyway, I'm gonna see you guys in a little bit. So, currently in my sleeping bag. Yeah, it's been a little while. Um, didn't make it Highway 50, which really sucks. But uh, I did meet a few hunters, kind of chilled with them for about an hour. Good times. Tomorrow's gonna be a 30 mile day because I need to make it to the gas station tomorrow. So, um, I got two options. Option number one is I go to, I, I just take highway uh, 50 and walk it. Option number two is I cut through the mountain, which given the last mountain I cut through, uh, I don't know if I wanna do that. A lot of uphill, a lot of snow. <coughs> Whereas Highway 50 is just flat highway. So. See how I'm feeling tomorrow. Anyway, I'm gonna pass out. So. See y'all tomorrow. Peace out. So I woke up pretty early, started walking. Just taking a break at the uh, wind farm for a minute. And I'm about 10 minutes away from the uh, highway. Then after that, I have a choice to make between either walking up the highway, which will be nice and smooth, or climbing one of those mountains. I already know what I'm gonna choose, but I'm gonna leave you guys in suspense for about two seconds. So that's the road I'm supposed to take that's gated off. So I guess I'm taking the highway, which is actually not the way I wanted to originally go. It is what it is. At least I guess I'll have a nice, easy walk. So I ended up walking down the highway for 32 miles. And uh, I didn't go to the town like I was planning on. I instead went to a uh, gas station, kind of a little north of it. 
It was a little longer walk, but if I would have gone to the town, I would have had to backtrack anyway, so. Made it to the gas station around midnight. So, I walked all through the night, which was fun. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this long form vlog. And remember to check out this video. All right, I'm gonna sign off.